Married at First Sight was on last night and Christina was rude and disrespectful and just disgusting to Henry last night. On last night's episode, we finally got to see Amelia and Bennett and Henry and Christina finally get married. I will share my thoughts on the amazing Amelia and Bennett couple in a couple of seconds, but first we had to talk about how disgusting and rude and just horrible Christina was to Henry. They finally got married. They were both so nervous. Before they even met each other, we all remember Henry. Henry is the shy guy. He's very quiet. He was clearly nervous. And Christina, I thought she was going to be kind of nice, just like a sweet girl. But boy, after last night's episode, I was wrong. It might be a little too early to start judging, but she is just flat out rude. She's stuck up. She doesn't seem to be nice. Every season has one of these girls, and this season, the mean girl is Christina. Christina. She walked down the aisle. She saw Henry. First off, Henry, he's a shy guy. So of course, it was extremely, extremely awkward. Not only are they getting married at first sight, that's awkward in itself. Henry is also just an awkward guy. So that was also very awkward. But they were standing there. They were going through their vows and whatnot. And Henry, once again, it was very awkward. I feel so bad for him. I hope he can find love. Clearly, after watching last night's episode, I don't think it's going to be with Christina. But I hope to God he can find someone because he's seems so sweet and so nice, but they were going through their vows, they were doing everything, and boom, they actually did get married. But you could just see in Christina's eyes, she isn't as awkward and shy as Henry, but she was just out of it. She wasn't even present in that whole wedding. You could see she was not interested. And if you guys think I am just, you know, making up stuff, okay, well, about a second later after they got married, she even said, hey, you know, Luke, she started calling him Luke. The guy's name is Henry. So not only was she completely not interested, not present, was she being rude to him, she forgot the guy's name, not one time, but on several different times. She called him Luke the one time, and on a different time, she just flat out said, wait, what is his name? So she forgot his name. Then when they were eating during their wedding, she asked him a question about his friends, I think. And then all of a sudden, mid conversation, she completely interrupted him and started talking about her earrings. And he was like, seriously, still, just talking about his friends and she interrupted him. So she is rude, she is disgusting, she has no interest in him whatsoever. And I don't mean disgusting like she's ugly, she's clearly a very pretty woman, she's attractive, but her personality and her interest in Henry is just eh, not good. I have never seen a woman so not interested in a man. Maybe you could say Jamie and Doug from years and years and years ago, but this was just different because Henry, he's so shy. He was really trying to get out of his shell. The conversations I saw between them two were awkward. So Henry and Christina, they got married last night. They appear to have very little to nothing in common. I don't know what Henry is thinking. He did make a comment that she is very tall. I know that he wanted a little bit of a shorter woman. Okay, well that is not Christina. And I think Christina, she probably wanted some Prince Charming, amazingly buff, you know, gorgeous guy to stand there with his big old smile and, and you know, the dimples and everything. And that is just not really Henry. Even though Henry, he's a good enough looking guy, got a good smile, he's just kind of shy. So can they work out their differences? I would say no, but I have absolutely no idea because I'm not reading any spoilers just yet. So my prediction is absolutely 100% no, that is not going to work. But of course, you guys, you already know, put in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys and your thoughts on Henry and Christina. Now let's fast forward over to Amelia and Bennett because they were the couple on last week's episode where they met and they were at the aisle and all of a sudden Amelia and Bennett, they're both their jaws drop to the floor because they have met before. So I thought for sure either that Amelia and Bennett, they maybe had like a one, you know, time romantic kind of a thing or something. But guess what? They had one stupid friend in common. That was it. That was how they knew each other. It wasn't anything juicy. It wasn't anything interesting. That was completely it. But on the bright side for Amelia and Bennett, it was just fireworks. It was couldn't have, I mean, you couldn't have matched a better couple. When I was on the Married at First Sight kickoff special, I was saying it. I, I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to love. You can see they're quirky, they're weird, they're open-minded. I don't know if they are ever going to have one legitimate fight 
throughout this entire eight week process. They just, they go with the flow. They have like the exact same belief system. They're both extremely attracted to one another and their families were meshing really well. I mean, I just don't see how they could have anything that wouldn't work. Everything down the T, the, the dancing, the talking, the attraction, the interest, everything was just perfect. But then when it got down to their actual wedding night, Bennett's friends were asking him, you know, what do you think is gonna happen tonight? Because you know, typical wedding night, you can only expect what you would expect from a wedding night. And he was just, he was being so cool. He was just saying, hey, you know, I would love for it to be some magical, amazing thing, but best case scenario, we talk, we, you know, hang out, we have a good time, we get to know each other, and that's about it. So Bennett, he just seems to be one of those kind of guys. They're very rare, but he seems to be amazingly awesome and cool and just go with the flow. He doesn't seem to be a jerk. Yeah, he's a little bit on the lazier side, maybe. He probably isn't making, you know, millions and millions of dollars, but, I think Amelia doesn't give a crap. They are an amazing couple. I didn't see any red flags on last night with Amelia and Bennett. Maybe you guys did, so let me know in the comments below. But I mean, I have nothing even to say besides just positivity, amazing couple. It was unbelievable, I thought. And Olivia and Brad, they were on and ugh. They're seriously, they're right there with Henry and Christina. They're different than Henry and Christina because Olivia and Brett are a little more personable, a little more outgoing, but they might actually be a worse couple than Henry and Christina because they just, they have nothing really in common. Here's the thing with, the, with these two. They try to act like they have stuff in common with the cats and the this and the working out, but they really, they have nothing in common. And anyone that kind of knows relationships can just see that Brett, he isn't really committing himself. You can just see he's being kind of standoffish. He's not really terribly interested. You can just kind of see. So on last night's episode, it was still the wedding. First day that, they, that they've ever even met each other. So of course, Olivia, she's still kind of happy, still kind of positive, but you can just see a little glimmer in her eye that she might kind of know, okay, something doesn't make sense with this guy because he is just a typical yes man. He is everything, he's trying to act like everything's going great, but I don't buy a word out of his mouth. And then Olivia's like sisters or you know relatives or friends or something were starting to question Brett. And that is when I think they could kind of see, okay, yeah, this guy is just full of it. They were asking him, you know, do you have any concerns? What is going through your head? And the guy said some stupid joke, like I'm kind of wondering about, you know, my contact solution or something stupid because the guy is full of BS. Now, yes, you could say he's just sarcastic and he thinks he's really funny and that could, you know, possibly be part of it. But I think really, honestly, the guy went on here for the fame. He just wants to be the funny guy, the cool guy, get some popularity. So I feel bad for sweet Olivia. She just melts my heart. She seems to really be a very, very, very sweet woman. I just, I don't even know. It sucks to see her go down this rabbit hole with this not a nice guy because that's all she wanted was a dorky, nice, cool guy. And maybe, her and Henry, Olivia and Henry could try to work things out at the end of this season because I almost can guarantee you guys that Olivia and Brett and Henry and Christina are not going to work, but Olivia and Henry, that might be a better match. Okay, we got to see just a snippet of Woody and Amani and Karen and Miles real quick with Woody and Amani. Um, shocker, it's very surprising. I'm not, you know, of course, I'm not surprised that everyone likes Woody, okay? I, I feared that was gonna be the case. Literally everyone likes this guy. Amani has a dad and a stepdad. They both seem to be extremely involved in her life and they both love the guy. I'm not surprised to hear that because the guy is a loving, unbelievable guy. He's outgoing, he's funny. Unless you were a really negative, you know, just downer kind of a guy, then you probably wouldn't like Woody. But if you like to have a good time, you like to joke around, you would love Woody. So of course, everyone so far in this situation, in this wedding, loves Woody. Amani, you know, she's, she's a great girl. She's a catch. She's, you know, just, she's just an adult. That's the only way I can describe her. She's not, like, I was watching her talk with Woody's friends and she's just so mature and confident. And then it looks someone more like Henry, where Henry, great guy, but I feel like his confidence is kind of lacking. And, and he admits that, that he, his confidence is really kind of, you know, lacking behind. But you look at someone like Amani and she's really just a complete set. She is confident in herself. She's mature. She's smart. She was having these conversations and it's like, you know, she's really put together and she's attractive. And so she is definitely clearly just a good woman. She's a great woman, a girl you would probably honestly want to marry. So I don't know. When I first saw these two, I thought for sure they were not going to work. But you know, 
the more I watch them, if Woody can just keep his head on straight and if he's here for the right reasons and he doesn't want to be a flirt and do this and run around with, you know, run around town with a wandering eye, then I think he'd be perfectly, just amazing. They could have a family, they could just do be great because she'd be an amazing mom and Amani would be just an amazing mom and wife and I think it'd be great. So, I, fingers crossed, I guess. I don't even know what else to really say about them because I think that they could do really well. I just don't know if, if Woody's eye is, you know, still wandering or not. And then Karen and Miles and the, I just, I don't even know. I think Miles is somewhat at this point in the show getting a little bit, a little bit of a shorter end of a stick. Thank God Karen is starting to open up more. She's starting to admit, okay, yeah, I actually am attracted to Miles. Miles, I mean, you couldn't get a better guy. The guy is patient. He is nice. He is sweet. He is a good looking guy. He seems to be in relatively good shape. He is personable. He is, at one point, he was rubbing the girl's freaking feet. I mean, like the guy will pretty much do just about anything. If anything, he might be a little bit too nice because, I, you know, I just look at relationships. They gotta be two way streets. And at this point, like the guy's doing all the talking. He's making all the jokes. He is rubbing her feet. He's doing everything, which is sweet, which is nice. I would just have loved to see Karen open up a little more, but she did say she's a little bit on the shyer side, and so it might take her a little bit longer to kind of open up, and I will say too, it did seem like on last night's episode, as the wedding progressed, she was starting to blossom a little bit more, and I was starting to like her more. It was just at the actual wedding when they got married, I was like, God, this Miles guy is like a 10 out of just everything. Nicest, you know, everything. The guy's real funny, he's cool, just a real nice, cool guy, and Karen was giving me, you know, like not a 10, but then as the wedding went on, she did seem to be better. If Miles is telling the truth, too, because Miles just keeps going on saying, she's amazing, she's beautiful, she's stunning. If he means that and that's all true, then they'll probably work because I think Karen likes him enough. I think Miles will definitely sweep her off her feet and it'll probably actually be a good relationship. Or should I say marriage? Sorry, I'm just so tired and exhausted. I'm not even thinking that we're talking about marriage, but of course it is married at first sight. So last night's episode, I thought it was actually really good. Put in the comments below what you guys think. For me, it was Henry and Christina. I that couple, I didn't think it was gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be average, but that was just horrible. I have never seen something so awkward from both sides last night, and you could just see in Christina's face, she was so not interested, so unattracted, it was disgusting. And the hilarious thing about Henry is his dad is like one of the most outgoing people I have ever seen on this show. His dad gave a speech, and the guy went on and on and on and on about Henry, and he was joking, he was actually funny, and so I don't know where Henry gets his shyness from, but I really just hope from the bottom of my heart because he does seem to be such a nice, full-hearted guy that he can find the right woman. He had some of his friends at the wedding. Okay, all of his friends are all women. They're all just like, you know, I don't know, gorgeous women. So I don't get why one of his gorgeous women friends can't just find the guy a girlfriend because they're all stunning. I'm sure they have some attractive friends. We'll find Henry someone and maybe after the show's done and I can only imagine that Christina and Henry don't work. Maybe one of his friends will step up and find the guy a freaking girlfriend because the guy could do great and it's like he, I don't, just him and Christina, I'm not seeing it. I think he could do a lot better. And I'm not saying that Henry's perfect because I know he has his flaws, but man, he needs to get a girl with a big, with a, just a gigantic big heart that thinks he's a sweetheart and that's it. So married at first sight, guys, put in the comments below what you guys thought. Let me know what you think of these five couples. Let me know what you think of this show. I hope to God everyone watched it. If you didn't watch it, it is now, I think, going to be on Hulu, I believe. So if you missed it, you can check it out on Hulu. And of course, it's on every Wednesday at eight o'clock on the Lifetime channel. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to hit that like button, comment below, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for many more videos.